Hey folks, it's Jay. Just a real quick run at my favorite retail center. Two days before Christmas, 2019. Beautiful day. 66 degrees. Am I even in frame? Maybe. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, beautiful day. Um, just heading over grocery store, get something for dinner, and just thought I would do a quick one. Just posted one a few days ago. It took a while. Been having upload issues. I lost a little bit of the end footage. There was some bonus footage that got lost. I really wish you could have seen that. But so be it. Maybe we'll find something even better today. Behind bells. Haven't been getting much. Just hangers, which I always take if I can. Uh, empty as a drum. This is a Monday. Doesn't feel like one, but it is. The kids are out of school. My whole tribe's out of school. There we go with uh, discarded mattress. Yeah, these illegal uh, dumpers, man, they, they discovered this rollaway behind Bells quickly. Look at all this construction debris. This isn't from Bells. They haven't even started using it yet. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm assuming they're doing some remodeling in Bells, but they haven't started. By the time they get started, this thing will be full of other people's trash. Uh, too bad. Hopefully they don't bury the good stuff before I can get to it. On down to Burke's. Again, this is my primary dumpster for uh, hangers that I do sell regularly. And uh, I, uh, I have a pretty good inventory right now of probably three, four months at the rate I sell. So uh, I may have mentioned that in the last video. But I'm trying to get more. I'd love to have about a year's worth of inventory. Um, I've got I got the place to store them now. They are bulky, but they're light, so they can go in the attic uh, and be no worries there. But I have uh, storage in different properties now, so that extra storage really comes in handy. So finally got emptied, and there's some more hangers. Take a look at the little crushed. Wow, metal candy container or something but man it got crushed and here's what i'm talking about guys now unfortunately what they've done is they emptied the box so uh yeah i'm gonna have to get, uh, make a box i can make this guy and uh start dumping some of those in here as you see there's also some items from the store this is the way it's been broken uh, a little reindeer i've seen several of these and they're they're rough on their uh, inventory, but it happens. A uh, little case here. I think that was probably not. That's a different one. Uh, too bad. I'm sure the top of this is broken, <clears throat> or they wouldn't have thrown it out. But a uh, little kid's kid's toy. Um, looks like it possibly a frame. I just lost the toy. And not sure. Ah, some uh, makeup. I don't know. I hope I'm in frame, guys. It's so bright out here. I can barely see my screen. But anyway, here's the makeup. And uh, I think it just got a little powder on the inside. I don't think it's damaged. But uh, some one, one of a kind shoes. So has a security tag on it. Um, I have taken these in the past and hold on to them for a little bit. They don't take up a lot of room. I have a, like a, a, a grocery store bag for the size of them. And compare. Uh, I think I've had two matches in the last few months. So it doesn't hurt. I might do that. So, uh, but first, I need to go ahead and uh, get ready to get these hangers out of the way. I guess I should get the low hanging fruit first. Here, we'll do it this way. We'll use this box. Well, I haven't built him yet. So, anyway, let me build this box, get some of the cool stuff out of the way. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Again, this glare is horrible, so make sure I'm rolling. We are rolling. Uh, started and made my box. Found this one. The reason I didn't use this first one because it was full of glass. I managed to get it cleaned out. I just won't take it in the house because uh, there could be small shards in there. And my tribe likes to run barefoot, and I don't want to endanger the children, so... Uh, he'll stay out and we'll shake it out really well and make sure there's no other glass in the hangers either. 
And before I started uh, using the grabber to grab the hangers, I grabbed a few of these things. There's a lot, a lot of shoes. Uh, just one shoe. I did find this pair of sandals. It looks like uh, they're still, they were together. I think I just pulled them apart. But a uh, little $10 pair of sandals, and there's nothing wrong with them. They didn't mark them, they didn't cut them, and there's no damage. Usually they cut the straps on those. So uh, nice little find there. I'd love to find the, uh, the mates of this one. Most likely won't. Uh, sometimes what you'll do, you'll find two of them, but they'll be for the same foot, right or left. You won't find the right and left. So, but like I say, if you've got the space, just put them in a bag, stash them, and uh, who knows? Today, they toss this one out. This is a right foot. In a week or two, they might find the left foot and toss it out. Uh, it has been known to happen. I've only had to have it a couple of times, but it does happen. So, I finally gra gra grabbed the gr grabber and I started hauling these guys up. See, I almost have a full box. Someone has to make another box. Uh, finally, I have an empty car, relatively empty for me. But glad I came by. I wasn't going to come by. I'm glad I did. Um, on this beautiful, beautiful day. So, uh, tell you what, I'm going to have to start. I'm going to put the grabber down because at this point, I can grab more with my hands than I can a grabber. Uh, and I need to make another box. So, uh, Again, I'll go over this. Uh, I'll do a little show and tell later with this. I don't like to linger too long at the dumpster and and look at stuff and go through it too carefully. I like to uh, get hit it and get it. So uh, let me pause this, grab a handful of these, and see if I can get out of here. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys. This is the final result. I've got four boxes full boxes i'm a little out of breath because i've been tugging on this broom handle trying to get these heavy heavier boards off here because this is where the shoes were concentrated i just want to take a peek so there's nothing back there uh anyhow uh got everything all the hangers four boxes full boxes of hangers plus uh the shoes and the other knickknacks that i found uh that i usually don't come here for but uh I put them in a box, it broke open. I had to pick them up again. That box broke open. So now I just kind of toss them in the back of the car. I uh, started getting a little nervous because this has been, I've been here for a while now, probably a good 20 minutes if not more. Um, so I usually don't like spending that much time and I try not to go over or look too closely to the items that I get. I'll check them out later and I'll do a show and tell for you guys here on the next one. So uh, stay tuned. I'll go find a nice shady spot and uh, we'll do a show and tell. See you in a second. Okay, folks, as promised, here's my show and tell. Uh, Y'all saw me grabbing a lot of these hangers. Four boxes, and when I say boxes, this, this is usually what they throw them out in. I guess they're three by two. Um, anyway, they hold quite a few, so there's four of them here. That's a pretty good haul, and for the week, well, I probably uh, retrieved another six boxes, maybe more, between Bells and Burks. So yeah, that's a lot of hangers. That's a lot of plastic and cardboard to keep out of the uh, landfill. But also, that's a lot of money, uh, potential. They, like I say, they sell. They, they don't sell real fast, but they sell. I sort them uh, by size and by uh, style. And uh, I... Uh, bundle them and, and then box them in groups of uh, 50 or 100 and that's how i sell them i have a lady coming by later this week or th this evening rather to buy i believe 100 possibly 200 so yes they do sell so there's a good grab here i had to, my grabber was just not helping these things are like hurting cats it's best just to reach in and grab them with your hands i get a whole lot more each time so i'm here in the parking lot doing a doing my show and tell in case you're wondering i'm in the front of the i'm in front of the uh retail center that i do the diving at now coming to the back and y'all saw the shoes um again usually just one one of each so uh but i have others i have a bag full of others and there could be matches i did get lucky here uh there's i don't know what i did with the other ones but i have two pair of these sandals i just tossed them in my box kept breaking so 
so I just tossed them, started tossing them back here so they might be buried. But anyway, I have sandals, two pair of sandals. My wife, I know these are too big for my wife. Uh, she, if she can't give it to one of her friends, then uh, we'll donate it. I don't mind doing that. And here, this was a frame, I was right. Uh, my first Christmas frame, cracked glass. Don't necessarily need it, so I'm sure someone will take it. Uh, may sell this in a bundle. I have a lot of frames. I may sell this in a bundle on uh, Marketplace. Um, we'll see. Or maybe dig up some old photos of my uh, children and stick one of them in there. Uh, moved on to this one. This is a good find. I always, I always enjoy finding glasses, uh, cups or wine glasses or whatever. This was a, a set of four and one broke. So, of course, they can't sell a package of three if it says a package of four on it. And this is what I call survivors. The one here broke. I tossed him out. But these guys made it. Nice little water glasses. Nice little water glasses. There's still a little glass here. You got to always be careful with that, guys. Always be careful with that. Another reason to wear gloves. Notice I'm not wearing gloves, but I'm being very careful. And also I have my handy... Uh, I have my uh, sanitizer handy. So yeah, whenever you see a box like this, I always check for survivors. I found one box, I believe it had 20, 24 uh, in a case, and 22 survived, so we're not broken. So that was a lucky break there. I went ahead and grabbed this guy here because I found this guy here. And I believe it's a match. He's broken on the sides, but I could actually glue something there. Uh, or just make this a display case or give it to my daughter. She loves the glittery type things. So, uh, and man, it glitters. Wow. So, uh, that was a good little haul there. And the makeup came with me. Uh, almost left it behind when the first, the first box, box broke, but it was still sitting on pretty close. I just went and grabbed it. I'll show it to my wife. She can use it. Uh, my, uh, she can give it to some friends or we'll donate it or toss it. I did stop. I didn't film. I didn't stop. I did stop at Dollar Tree. And lo and behold, right on top. Some cool little pens here. Missing one. Uh, some more little hats for the uh, for the kids. Christmas little lights. You put them on their head and they light up. I believe a little tablecloth. A Christmassy tablecloth. A uh, little Santa. A little headband Santa. My three-year-old won't, three won't care if it's, it's just one there. Uh, there was a phone case in here. Well, we have a dog, so we'll take the dog biscuits. We have a little schnauzer. Peanut butter flavor. I had no idea dogs like peanut butter. Um, and uh, I was hoping to find a bunch of cards, uh, the greeting cards. That's what I really after when I go to uh, Dollar Tree now. Well, anywhere, really, but especially Dollar Tree. That's where I found the most. So a lot of knickknack stuff here, a little Christmassy stuff here. You know, missing the little Santa, snowman missing the eyes. Uh, some toys missing whatever. Um just a little knickknack stuff i'll go through it and uh we'll see if it's if it's clean if it's uh balloons are dead uh if it's clean and it's usable see the slime's got to go i'll throw that away we don't allow that into the house that is way too messy uh, i will say earlier speaking of getting slimed it wasn't slime but on these hangers uh there was some i thought glitter had gotten into one pile of them on one side and i had to let them go because they were covering this glitter so I moved to the middle of the dumpster and uh, found uh, found some that weren't covered in it. Turned out it was candy, actually. A little Christmas hat here. Brand new, clean. Good. Big, big hat. Huge hat. Huge hat. Well, I have no idea. So, uh, you know, I didn't mean to take him, but I had to grab this because it was starting. To, everything was starting to fall through. The bag was starting to break. Uh, probably doesn't have the lid to this, but uh, maybe not have to have it. Some kids might use it. And just a little odds and ends here, guys. Like I say, stuff I don't really look for, but kids get a kick out of. And I don't really sell this stuff online anymore. I used to try, but I don't bother. Uh, I'm real limited. I limit myself to what I sell now. I've got a better grasp of it, what I want to put online. Uh, and by online, I mean eBay or any other application like that, app like that. A little Nerf football here. Uh, he's got some of that slime on him. I can feel it. That's kind of cool. Oh, he gets a, he, I think you shoot him out of a gun. I didn't see the gun. So anyhow, a little earbuds missing one of the little uh, rubber silicone buds. No worries. Wonder Woman something. Uh, my my six-year-old daughter will love that. So uh, yeah, little little just little stuff, guys. But yeah, I'm really I'm more stoked about the uh, 
the shoes and the hangers. I think I really do. I re really did a good job this week on that. And uh, I'm very glad I found it and hit it today. I wasn't going to. So now I need to get down the road and get to the grocery store and wrap it up. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Um, I was uh, not expecting to find really anything today, and I almost didn't come by. So I'm glad I did, and uh, I'll be back again. So two days before Christmas, guys. I don't think I'll be doing any more in, uh, until after Christmas. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year even, if I don't make it to back by, by then, but before uh, 2020. Either way, guys, stay safe. God bless. And uh, always wear your gloves. And keep on diving. <laughs>